It's no doubt that the experiences we have throughout our life change how we present ourselves. I've learned that depending on the environment that I'm in, I often present different aspects of myself. If I'm in an environment where I don't know anyone, I work to present myself as confident, easy to talk to, and approachable. I've had experiences where I haven't done this, and I've been sitting alone in a corner on my phone just browsing my social media feeds because I wasn't making myself approachable. These were not good memories, which is why I try and be more intentional about this. It can be challenging, but it lets me get past the initial hurdle of having people to talk to rather than just sitting alone in a corner on my own. I've also had experiences where I try and present myself as being smarter than I was, or more athletic than I was, and I've learned that from those experiences, it's not always a good idea to change how you present yourself. A false front usually never holds up, leaving the people who befriended you because of the false front confused. I've learned from experience that it's always better to just be yourself, and the people who befriend you will befriend you because of who you are, and not who you pretend to be. I've had moments in my life where I've been more withdrawn and never opened up when I should have. In the end, it usually all came down to emotions. When I was going through a particularly rough emotional period and thought, I want to appear tough and not show the fact that I'm sad. I learned when I did this that it absolutely did not help anything and just served to further isolate me when what I needed was to show vulnerability and let people in to help me. I'm a terrible overthinker and all that boxing my emotions did was make it easier for me to overthink everything. This happened a few months ago with the relationship I was in. I tried to work things out in my own head and found that all it did was make things worse. The thoughts were just sitting there and brewing in my head, which made nothing better. As soon as I opened up and just spewed the thoughts that were in my head, things instantly got better, and it was incredibly helpful to have input from someone who was on the outside of the situation, and someone who could give advice and see things in a way that I couldn't. Having this positive of an experience after opening up and not boxing in my emotions has shown me exactly what I need to do the next time I think about boxing in my emotions. Everyone's personal packaging creates their story, and everyone's packaging is unique to them, with no two being the same. Everyone's packaging comes with a unique set of experiences and a unique perspective on the world. Some people may have similar perspectives, while other people may have perspectives that are exactly opposite of one another. This is part of what makes diversity so important. The first impression someone gets of you is of this outside package. It's not until you let someone in that they truly see the unboxed version of you. People are often too quick to put others in a box and judge them almost instantly. Throughout elementary and middle school, I got labeled as one of the weird kids, which in turn resulted in me playing by myself on the playground as recess and oftentimes hanging out alone. This is my biggest instance where I've been mislabeled. Since it happened so early, and I've been at the same school since kindergarten, I haven't been able to entirely shed that label. However, I've been able to force myself to be social, putting myself out there more, and I found that outside of the same group that hasn't changed in a decade, people took the time to get to know me, and I've developed a strong group of friends that all enjoy each other. It's a goal of mine to be able to reinvent myself in college and to finally shed that weird kid tag since I won't be stuck in the same social group in the same school as before. While no one has ever told me that they misjudge me, I'm sure that given the chance, it would be a very different experience.